Right, getting to the house is dangerous. Because, look. Bandersnatch. Two of them. And the second you try to go upstairs, they bolt up there. But actually, we avoided them fairly well. Oh, you hear that? That's the telltale sign of bats. And... That's a foot. It's a foot just hanging there. Connected to a leg. Oh, I didn't want to go in there. I don't want to be in here for a good reason. That's the good reason. Yeah, there's all kinds of masks and dolls. And there's something hanging here in the middle of the room, and it's... It's also a big doll. Though, oddly enough, I don't think Claire has anything to say about that. Keep focused, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashra family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. Oh, we found her. The family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? So what is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. A large sized doll, probably custom made. So we just met Alexia. Seems like her and her brother are up to some some trouble. History of the topics of many of these books. Professional biology books are piled up. A large doll. Alright, so inside... Actually, it looks pretty safe so far. Message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. The music box is locked. Blue sapphires embedded in the opening. It appears to be a relief, and it seems to be a woman's back. Alright, so I guess Alfred fancies himself some sort of noble warrior trying to make Alexia over here the head of the family.
The music box is playing a beautiful melody. Something is written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King return. The path opens. Stop the music box. Ah, okay. A key. The music box is locked. I can't take out the music plate. A red jewel is embedded by the opening. So it looks like we might need a red and a blue jewel. The finishings are gorgeous here. Nothing useful, but the mirror looks like it's been cracked. Alright, the silver key. Oh, careful now. Key made of pure silver. The Ashford family crest is carved on it. How do I zoom in? Can I zoom in? There we go. You see, it kind of looks like an eagle or a falcon holding a halberd. Pretty sure we saw a similar thing in the other Resident Evil games. Now there are a couple of areas where we can use this key. I think we're going to go right back to them right now. Oh! Wasn't paying attention, I got whacked in the face. Okay, we're better now. Although at this point it might be a good idea to start collecting more green herbs. get rid of. Actually, there is something I'd... I should grab. We are going to go back and see Rodriguez soon, so... Might as well bring our hemostat with us. And here's the first room we use the silver key on. And apparently there's a little casino. Oh, yay. So that means more explosive arrows for us. Some balconies overlooking. An antique grand piano. Designed so that it reads out data. Alright, keep that in mind, because we're going to need that later. And some green herbs. I did say we should start grabbing as many of those as we can get our hands on. And also, I'll take this time to say hello to anyone just joining us. And hello to everyone who's coming back after that earlier disaster.
I wonder, should I save again? Well, I do say save smart, save often. Okay, we are done with the silver key. But there... Well, there's a pair of Bandersnatch, actually. But they foolishly jumped right in the way of my arrow. got the eagle plate. Well, that's not the only thing in here worth checking out. Hunk's report. So you remember Hunk from Resident Evil 2? He was a uh, he was a secret character we would find at the end of the game and we would get a little extra story. Well here's a report that he wrote for Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 1632 I successfully I arrived successfully from Umbrella Transport Base with a large-scale bow capsule. Extreme care was taken during the transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedure. It is currently being stored in a freezer. There's one thing I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be put at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information should we assign similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for our next mission today at 2300. Umbrella Special Forces Unit, Hunk. So Hunk is alive and still out there. And apparently he knows the, the Ashford family. Not only that, he trained here. another green herb. I should probably grab that. Alright, avoid the worm. Still hasn't finished venting. Now 
Now, thankfully, they do not follow us up the stairs. And looky what we find. Now, we saw a couple of places where we could use that card. Dang it. Jerks. I was gonna leave you alone. But no, no, you had to keep jumping at me and biting me. That's a breaker for the ventilation. We're gonna leave that alone. We are gonna use this card reader. Now that's just something for a little later. I wonder, I might be actually getting ahead of myself. That's alright, it's not that big a deal. We're not trying to speed run this or anything, or get a particularly high score. We just want to sit back and enjoy the game. Have I played Resident Evil 5? Yes, I did. I did not like Resident Evil 5, so I never finished it. And that was more or less where I kind of gave up on the series altogether. I just, I kind of knew the direction this the game series was, was taking at that point. And the truth is, I, I didn't want to play games like that. I wanted to play Resident Evil games. But I was out of luck. Because Resident Evil changed into what it is now. But here's hoping that I can show off some of the older Resident Evil games and kind of give you all an idea of why I liked it. And maybe one day we can see it return to something a little closer to what it used to be. Especially considering there's all that talk about the Resident Evil 2 remake. Which I really hope is more like, like say the way uh, Resident Evil 1 Remake was. That's probably asking for a lot. Hey, Rodriguez. What are you doing here? Brought you some hemostat. Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. So look at what Rodriguez just gave us. Yep, we got some lockpicks. 
Now, that is completely optional. We don't actually have to come back to Rodriguez and give him that hemostatic medicine. But those lock picks are worth it. Because there are a number of locked cases, drawers, doors. Well, I don't think any doors, but you get the point. That have goodies in them. In fact, we came across, I think, two or three of them already. Okay, not gonna deal with you guys. Um, actually, no, it's too early to go back there. Now, we've looked at every Resident Evil game up to this one at this point. We will be taking a look at further entries. I do want to play Remake for all of you. I want to play Zero. I'm going to leave that worm alone. I'm... 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 Ugh. I'm going to play Gaiden. Yes, I'm going to play Resident Evil Gaiden on the Game Boy Color. I would love to play the Outbreak games too. But I really want to play those with other people. So if I can pull that off, we'll take a look at those games at some point too. But any Resident Evil games after 4, I'm probably not going to touch. Part of the reason is I don't own them. And if I don't own them, I can't really play them. this case we got way back. It's secured by a simple lock, and we're going to lockpick it, and we get more bowgun powder. And more bowgun powder means more explosive rounds. Well, explosive arrows, but you get the idea. Anything else? Anything else in here I need? Well, I'll need that eventually. I'll need that eventually. The answer is yes, I did get a little bit ahead of myself. That's alright, there are goodies to get. Like this. 
the grenade launcher. Now we have some serious firepower. Well, granted, we have a rocket launcher waiting for us back at the, uh... I don't even know what that area is called, but it's back in that security box. Alright, another place to use our lockpicks. And there are acid rounds waiting for us. There's a handgun placed on the work desk. It cannot be used with the M93R. So yeah. Her handgun is an M93R, an Italian handgun which is uses 9mm by 19 rounds. There are bits and pieces here to modify a handgun, but it's not going to work with hers. This was the room we came from with Steve, that had the turntable that came down. I should have pointed this out earlier, but there's some bowgun powder up there. Can't reach it just yet. other side of the turntable, and there are Bandersnatch. You guys are jerks. But hey, look. More bowgun arrows. Anything else back here? said soothing tones are helping people fall asleep in the chat. Alright, automatic door is locked. Alright, yeah, unfortunately we can't do anything here. You see, I, I usually wait to come back to this area after I've gotten the lockpicks. Because as you can see, there are things we have to pick the locks for. And if we don't have the blue emblem card here, we can't open some of these doors. Alright, so we took this elevator with Steve, and I think we went up to the second floor. Um, let's see. I know there's stuff to do on the first floor. Ow, oh, dang it. Oh, don't, don't use explosive rounds on zombies. Turn the poor guy into a pincushion. He's not a poor guy, he's a zombie. He'd eat me, give him the chance. Locked from the other side. Uh... 
So here's a picture. It seems to be a picture of this room. And it is a picture of this room. A man's portrait is displayed here. All right, we got another eagle plate. So this is the floor we went to Steve with, and then the, I guess the walkway out here crashed. Oh. No longer need the emblem card. There's something very satisfying about no longer needing an item. Well, what do we have here? Various commands may have been given from here. That's good and all, but... Yeah, we like grenade rounds. We also like green herbs. the army proof. Bio has to break out in the bio experiment room. Switch the security monitor. Alright, so this is the room we saw earlier. Yeah, there's that poor man that got... Well, he got. He got got. He seems to be dead. Resume using the camera? Yes. As you may remember, we found a note that said this painting has the code to get into this room. There's a number, 1126. All right, the bio experiment room has finished ventilating. Okay, now I've, I have not written down that number before, so I'm gonna write it down now. And now the zombies want to get up and say hello. Well, we don't want to say hello. We're leaving. going to need you for a while. Or you. We are going to need you. We want you soon. Okay, yes, I did have enough sense to bring the biohazard card.
And that's one less card. Well, we're back here, where we found our bow gun. And now we can enter the code, which was one, one, two, and six. There are some goodies to get in here. The obvious one is that painting we saw. The less obvious one is the acid rounds. He's already dead. Kenshiro got him. Nothing useful. Now does that, that look like there's something on the ceiling over there? It's cracked. Maybe something escaped through the crack. We're going to take the skeleton picture. Oh, hello. Alright, I think it's time to leave. Oh, there were things up on the ceiling. Out of my way, you little buggers. They're zapping me. Remember the last time this happened? We had to race and get to that door before it shut on us. Yeah, we gotta do that again. Move it, Claire, move! Ah, before... There we go. Stupid alarm is still going, though. 